I grew a brand new YouTube channel from zero all the way to 1,000 subscribers in under 30 days. But the craziest part is that only 30 days later, it's at 7,000 subscribers and counting. Most YouTubers say you need to spend one to two years making videos before you see any growth. And this may have been the case in 2018 when they first started. But in 2024, there is a new type of channel like this, this, and this, getting hundreds of thousands of subscribers in just a few months. And they all follow a step-by-step -step strategy that I'm about to share with you completely for free so that you can apply it to your channel and have your next video look like this. Because when you know how big YouTubers guarantee their videos go viral, you'll be able to consistently get 10,000 plus views on every video and grow to 1,000 subscribers in the next 30 days, all without having years of experience, a genius IQ, or money to invest. So to get your first 1,000 subscribers, you need around 25,000 views. And most small YouTubers are averaging 100 to 1,000 views per video. This means that it will take you 25 to 250 videos to hit your first 1,000 subscribers. So the fastest way to get 1,000 subs fast is simply increase the average views per video. And there's a genius strategy that the big YouTubers use to do this to guarantee their videos go viral. And you can use the same strategy on your small channel. But they normally keep it behind a paywall in private WhatsApp groups or among their close friends. And I know that because I've been in those rooms and I've seen those conversations. So it's no wonder that they keep growing bigger while you're still waking up with no new subscribers. And I've used the same strategy on my channel to average 15,000 views per video, meaning that I only need to post twice to get 1,000 subscribers. So once you understand this strategy, you'll be able to beat the algorithm by only making proven videos. Just like Eric did with this one, just like Mr. Beast did with this one, and just like Jack Gordon did with this one. It all comes down to three simple steps. First, I want you to go to the YouTube homepage. Click on the search bar and type in a keyword. Let's use Mr. Beast's video, Train vs. Giant Pit, as an example. His idea has the base keywords Train and Giant Pit. So if we sort by Train and then look up the view count, we see this video pop up. It got 163 million views in only two years. But if we put the Mr. Beast video right next to it, we'll see some similarities. Now, let's look up the keyword dirt bike. The first image that we see looks like this, which is suspiciously similar to this video done by Eric. Lastly, if we search up the keyword bicycle, we can match it to this video by Jack Gordon. I'm telling you, all of the big YouTubers do this. And if you apply this to your own videos, you will never see a 10 out of 10 again. Because when you know how to find proven videos, you'll be able to model them and consistently go viral. And this will increase your average views per video so that you can hit a thousand subscribers in the next 30 days. But to do this successfully, you need to remember that most people try to model what works. But if that was the right way to do it, then everyone would be going viral. I spent my first two years creating content that was modeled after other big YouTubers, only to see results like this every morning. But now that I've grown hundreds of thousands thousands of subscribers across multiple channels, I realize where most people go wrong. The key here is to steal like an artist. Copy and paste thumbnails never work. So what you want to do is change at least two things about each thumbnail. First off, you want to recreate it using better colors because most of these thumbnails are pretty bland. Next, you want to add at least two elements that weren't there before. Maybe that could be an arrow bringing attention to the center point of the thumbnail, adding your headshot to make it custom to you, or adding some sort of text that gives context or curiosity about what's in the video. But if you really want the viewer to watch, there's about a five second window after they click whether they decide to leave the video or stay till the end. And I figured out a proven way to make sure they stick around. It all comes down to confirmation bias. If a viewer makes the decision to click on your thumbnail, they want to feel like they've made the right choice. So your job is to give that to them on a silver platter. Let's take a look at the channel Preston Goes. His title and thumbnail for this video were modeled off of this video using the same strategy we just went over. But he takes it one step farther. You can see that when we click into his video, he uses the exact same image as he used for the thumbnail. Doing this gives the viewer immediate satisfaction and gets them past the dreaded five second mark. But once your viewer has stayed past the five second mark, you need to keep them for the rest of the video because they could click off at any time. Therefore, we need to write a script that will trap the viewer into watching your video so that you can take your retention graphs from this to this. And I've put together a three-step process to make sure viewers stick around. And if you're still here right now, I guess it works. The first step is writing a perfect intro. Look at this graph. The biggest drop-off is in the first 30 seconds. And I guarantee if you look at your videos, you will also notice the same thing. After that, the line goes down slowly as viewers leave throughout the video but it's not that bad. So the lower we can make this drop in the beginning, the higher we can start that line at and increase our AVP by 10 to 20%. And that 10% could be the difference between your video blowing up 
or never seeing the YouTube homepage. To do this, I'm about to give you a proven intro framework by Colin and Samir. And this exact framework is the same reason why you're here listening to me speak, because it targets the specific dopamine pockets in the brain that make viewers stick around. The first line in your intro should always immediately confirm to the viewer that this is the video they clicked on, and the packaging is not clickbait. Plus, there needs to be social proof. For example, the first line in this video was, I grew a brand new YouTube channel from zero all the way to 1,000 subscribers in under 30 days. This repeats the idea that this is a video about growing on YouTube fast. It also has a smidge of social proof because I'm showing I actually did it. The next is introduce new narratives and unclosed loops. You want to convey this in a simple manner visually to be easily understood. We do this by opening loops in the viewer's mind. An open loop is essentially a question that hasn't been answered yet. So in this video, I said this. But in 2024, there is a new type of channel like this, this, and this, getting hundreds of thousands of subscribers in just a few months. I didn't actually ask a question, but now the viewer is wondering, what makes these channels different from mine? And if you pay close attention, I didn't actually answer that until later in the video. This infiltrates into the viewer's subconscious mind because they crave to have their questions answered. Because when that happens, they get a big hit of dopamine. And if it doesn't happen, they're left with a feeling of incompleteness. Now, the third line that I'm about to show you will cement the pattern of the video into their brain. So you have to set the right expectation for the pacing, tone, and style. 99% of YouTubers think that you need to have a fast video. In fact, I blew up Joel Kaplan's YouTube channel from 6,000 to 240,000 subscribers making videos like this. It simply comes down to creating the right expectation. If you tell the viewer that the rest of the video is going to be slow, and then you give them the reasons behind it, your AVD is going to be way higher than if you said nothing. Because if a viewer just tops onto a slow video that they weren't expecting to be slow, they're gonna leave. For example, with Joel's videos, we always say this. Sit back, relax, and let's dive in. Now the viewer expects a slower, more valuable video. Alternatively, if you have faster videos like me, then you could say something like, in the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you exactly how to start a YouTube channel from scratch implying you have a faster video. And the last thing that you need to write a perfect intro is establishing your singularity. I do this with social proof or simply restating my mission to take a thousand YouTubers to over a hundred thousand subscribers completely for free. In fact, I even have a free YouTube course coming out on January 1st that's better than most YouTubers paid stuff. So subscribe to see that. Now that we have a perfect intro, we need to make sure the body of the video is structured properly. I'm not here to waste your time, so here's a screen recording of my current framework that I'm using to write this video. Feel free to copy Copy it word for word. The key thing here is having both payoffs and open loops in your video. Open loops raise the questions and payoffs answer them. Because like I said, the viewer gets a big hit of dopamine each time a loop is closed. So you want to close at least four to five loops in each video so that the viewer stays satisfied. The final part of our script is the CTA or call to action, which simply means telling the viewer what to do next. My call to action is always just watch the next video on my channel. And I recently found a framework by George Blackman, Ali Abdal's scriptwriter, that has taken my in-screen click-through rate from this to this. That means that for every 100,000 views on my channel, I'm getting an extra 8,000 by changing just one thing. And trust me, these little changes make all of the difference in your YouTube growth. The framework looks like this. Link, curiosity gap, and CTA slash promise. Linking would be connecting your CTA to the end of your video. The curiosity gap would be opening a loop in the viewer's mind that they want answered. The CTA slash promise would be telling the viewer what to do and why doing that thing will close the loop in their head. It's actually genius. It's gotten me tens of thousands of views for free. And altogether, it looks something like this. So now that you know how to both make a viewer click and stay on your video, you need to learn how to come up with ideas that are actually worthy of going viral. And there's an ideation strategy that I've been doing recently that's had a huge impact on my channel. So check out this video where I show you what it is and how you can use it to guarantee your next video goes viral. Thank you and have a great day.